it's no secret that Manchester United are in for a striker in the summer transfer window of 2023 because we've got Val Vegas, Val Vegas, yes, of course the guy works hard, but he barely scores goals for us as a Man United striker, has to score goals, bro. He <laughs> has to score goals for at least 20 goals a season. Val, Val Vegas can't, can't manage that. The other one, right, Anthony Martial, he's always injured. Like, the, the guy's meant to be coming back against Newcastle this uh, this Sunday, right, at St. James's Park, but it's been really windy outside um, <laughs> in Manchester, bro, and I'm scared that they win my injury him again fam so this is why we're in for a striker and the two strikers right that are prominently linked with manchester united these last few weeks the first one of course it is harry class a man like harry kaza fam harry class a you know the rest bruv shout out to expressions for making that nickname for him the second one of course it is the son of ogun the mask hero of naples fam man like victor Ozzy, man shout out to victor osman bro the guys putting teams in a blender this season bro teams in the blender don't matter if it's in the champions league don't matter if it's Syria, don't matter if it's, if it's the copy Italian, bro. These guys just slapping guys up. But anyway, guys, I will be talking about these two players, right? And they're playing profiles and they're just theorizing to see who te Eric Ten Hag will be in for and, and try to buy because these guys, uh, Harry Kane's worth 80 mil. If it toss me, I'm seeing 140 million, fam. <laughs> it's never euros, bro. It's pounds, bro. 140 mil, fam. That's what I'm seeing right now, right? But anyway, the first player that I do want to talk about is, of course, Harry Kane, guys. Man like Harry Kane, this guy at the moment right now is breaking all sorts of records bro he's broken that international goal scoring record for england um literally scored a penalty due the, on, on the weekend against italy made him the high the high goal the highest goal scorer ever for england being that way in rooney record that rooney had literally hold, a hold of for like two minutes <laughs> they had a hold of that record for two minutes recently broke uh, the tottenham um, hotspur again goal scorer uh, the goals top goal scorer of all time for tottenham uh by i think jimmy greaves had it previously now it's now it's harry kane and, and he's like in my opinion, two seasons away from actually beating the Alan Shearer record, which is like what 260 goals. Yeah, Harry Harry Kane's like 56 goals away uh, from from being that from being that from beating that Premier League record. But anyway, right, I call Harry Kane a playmaking striker fan. A playmaking striker. What was the playmaking striker? A playmaking striker, right? Is somebody who scores goals and gets assists. It's that easy, bro. <laughs> it's that easy, bro. Like, when you look at Harry Kane, like in, in if Harry Kane, right, is 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 on point in one game, the the guy can get like a like a, either a hat trick and, and get one assist or, or score two goals or get one one assist, right? And what I like about Harry Kane because he can suit Man United big time, but by the way he plays football because. What he does, right? The guy is never like a static striker. He is he's never staying uh, still in one spot. The guy drops in deep to receive the ball, turns around, puts in, uh, uh, puts in the quick wingers. Like even right now for Tottenham, how he plays like where he's always like assisting Human Son or assisting the Dan Kulusevski. I genuinely do think that he can do the same thing, right? Uh, for Marcus Rashford at Manchester now, because Rashford right now the, the the only two guys that he, right, he relies on, right, to, to put balls in through for him is guys like Christian Eriksen and Bruno. Fernandez. If, if Harry Kane can do that, drop in deep, turn around, put Rashford through. Rashford can have so many goals for that through that as well. And, and, and in my opinion too, Harry Kane can have so many goals more because the, the amount of chances that Bruno Fernandez creates, right? Like in the league, bro, is absolutely nuts because there's so many missed chances that Manchester United miss, bro. When you look at guys again like Val Vegas, bro, just miss, missing so many chances. Bruno Fernandez assists can, can also go up as well. But the only thing, right, to what scares me about Harry Kane. Is the is the um he's turning 30 years old right now. And yes, people, is the 30 years old in football is not like the oldest and oldest of all man right now because you've got guys in their 40s now still playing, man. Like man like Zlatan Ibrahimovic. But again, it's it's the whole injury record and his ankle as well. Because just right now he's playing like 39 games, scored 23 goals in, in all competitions. But that's like this season. I'm pretty sure last season he 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 did get injured um through throughout his his ankle because he's always getting that 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 injury record, right? But I also have a sad feeling to me, right? Where I'm like, you know what, yeah? Like, Harry Kane, if we sign Harry Kane, he'll feel like Van Persie. He'll feel, he'll feel like Van Persie all over again, like, in my opinion, in, in, in 2012. Because when we signed Van Persie, we, for me, I, I, I was like, well, we're winning the league, bro. And that's how I feel with Van Persie, because with, with Van Persie, with, with Harry Kane, because of the manager I have right now with, with Eric Ten Hag, I think that he he he, he, he will like Harry Kane, again, just how he like, plays football, to how he, he brings in other players um, into play, right? And the thing is, too, like yes it's gonna cost around like 80 mil right and 
Brav, I, I think if we spend that 80 mil, I, I genuinely do think that we we're, we're buying the league for, for 80 million. I genuinely think that if we if we sign Harry Kane, yes, like he might be here for like one or two seasons, but that that 80 mil will be just us buying the league for for 80 mil, guys. That's that's just what I think. And the thing is too, right? It's great for Harry Kane because he needs a trophy too. Once again, right? As I said, like with like uh, guys like Aaron Shearer winning a, a Premier League trophy, guys like Jamie Vardy winning a Premier League trophy, and then and, and and Harry Kane being compared to the likes of like Wayne Rooney, Sergio Aguero, Thierry Henry, right? Like football fans will, will always turn around and say, but what's he won? What's he won? And I I think that Harry Kane knows that deep inside that like when he's finished playing football right and, and there's players like comparing their medals and and he will just say Harry Kane top, top goal scorer ever in the Premier League I, I don't think that's going to ever be good enough for a, a player like Harry Kane so 80 mil if Manchester United spend, spend that, that 80 million on, on, on Harry Kane bro I genuinely do think that we we, we do win the league bro we might miss out on, on an opportunity on, on getting Victor Osman because Victor Osman right now yes he's like what 24, 25 years old, but again, he's just slowly reaching his peak. Hurricane right now is in his peak. So, yeah, let's talk about Victor Osman, guys. Man like Victor Osman. I love that clip of him from shout out to Victor Osman, right? And the thing is with Victor Osman, bro, like the hero of Naples, right? I've done so many reaction videos on, on Victor Osman, right? And there's, there's, there's gonna be so many guys from Napoli like, who watch my videos and be like, yo, he's never leaving, bro. He's never leaving. And the thing is too, like, I've seen that 140 million like price tag of Victor Osman, bro. Like 140. It's not even you, bro. It's pounds, bro. It's not even euros, bro. It's pounds, fam. So it's just gonna go up, right? And the thing is too, like, with, with Victor Osman, like the player of uh, uh, his style of play and the, the player of like profile, fam. Like this guy, yes, of course. Like right now, he's played like what 29 games, and scored what 25 goals in all in, in, in all competitions, which is absolutely ridiculous. That is a crazy record, fam. That is absolute nuts. And I think like he's played like 74 games, uh, league games for Napoli since 2020 or 2021, and I think he's, he's, he's got like 40, 40 odd goals from bro, which is crazy, right? And I I like Victor Osman, like. Uh, Victor Osman is an absolutely like tre tremendous athletic striker, fam. He's just a bro. He's like six foot three. He's fam quick. He's leaping, especially for headers. He's just absolutely nuts, and just how strong he is as well. And to with the way that he finishes the goals, bro, is is nuts, fam. And the thing is too, like he's completely like a different playing style to to Harry Kane because with Victor Osman, like he stays in that number nine role, fam. He literally like wants to run off um the uh, uh, back of. Uh, he, he, basically, he wants to be um, in the blind spots, right, for the centre back, so he can actually make those runs and and, and then combine together with guys like uh, Zielinski, guys like uh, Kovarskaya, guys like Irvin, Lo uh, Irvin Lozano from Malak and e e Guisa, even sometimes Kim Minjera. And the thing is, like, with, with, like I like Victor Osman, but I was speaking with one of my work colleagues because, like, with with, with Victor Osman, like sometimes I do get Lukaku vibes. I genuinely do, and I'm like, is he gonna be uh, another Lukaku? Because if if, if my I spend 140 million euro, not even euros, bro. It's pounds, fam. If we spend like mo that money on him, bro, we'd we'd want him to perform, fam. We generally would want him to perform, bro. And like, that's the thing with us, man. I like in, in myself, right? I genuinely believe they should stay one more season at Napoli. He genuinely should, bro. Stay one more season at, at Napoli. See what you're made of, because yes. It's, it's, I've been seeing words, right, being used as like one season, one day, this and that for, for Osman. Osman was killing it, right, um, for Lil, bro, a, 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 a couple of years back. If, if people don't, 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 don't remember this, like Osman was like an, an absolute bad man uh, for Lil, right? And I genuinely do think he needs to stay one more season just again to 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 get his bearings because like, <laughs> bro, I am just thinking about that prize tag. Like, I, I like the player and I just like the relationship that he has with Napoli and the fans man I, I genuinely do think that but uh, it's a tough one right and for me I, I i do think that like ten hag right has actually chosen the the player that he um the the number one striker that he he does want to buy uh, for manchester United. It's, it's not come out yet we are going to find that out right it, in the summer guys and and yeah but for me like there, there's a a, a, a Oh, I, I just always think about this like like daily now with with this player right with um, Julian Alvarez. Julian Alvarez should have been Manchester United's main striker. 
that's the guy who Manchester United should have bought like last year, bro. That's the that's that's who Man United should have bought, bro. But again, we we're, we're we're run by a bunch of morons because Ranick did try right to actually like say Manchester United, like to actually like convince um uh, Richard Arnold and John Murtagh to 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 badge Julian Alvarez last season, but they just completely know them and, and look what's doing now, bro. The guy is playing left wing, is still banging in goals, and his primary position is striker. So yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. But there is other strikers as well, guys like Evan Ferguson right now at Brighton. I'm really impressed with him to how he plays football. Like guys like Rasmus Holland, Sesko Fam, even Dusan Dusan Vlaovic with with everything what's going on right now with Ju with, with, with Juventus, he might be free as well. So I, 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 again, I I trust in Ten Hag. Bro. We know whichever striker right Ten Hag brings in, I'm down for. But guys, that has been a video. If you got any thoughts, comments, concerns, you want to do comment down below. Who do you prefer, guys? Especially the the minor fans. Do you do you prefer Harry Kane or Victor Osimhen? Me right now, I'm I'm still in limbo about this because with Harry Kane, yes, if we if we buy him, bro, it's 80 million from and it's 80 for me like that 80 million just we're buying the league, fam. I'm genuinely being serious, bro, because Harry Kane, I think he's that missing piece of the kind of striker that that we do need, but he might be there just for one or two seasons, just like Van Persie. I I I ain't gonna lie to you guys. And then with Victor Osman, I genuinely do think that he, he needs to stay one more season at Napoli just to uh, again keep keep on building his craft. He's killing it, killing it right now for, for Napoli. And I just think that he needs a little bit more experience to take that little step up above to play for teams like Bayern Munich, even for Manchester United, or even, even Barcelona uh, guys. But anyway, that's been the video, guys. Like keep supporting your boy. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I've been Princeton talking. Nonsense, talking nonsense. You, you, you know how it's like with this channel, guys. The unseriousness channel, guys. It's just so un unprofessional. And if you do like, keep supporting the un 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 unprofessionalism, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. But yeah, I've been pretty comparing Victor Osman and Harry Kane, who is the best fit for Manchester United, guys. But yeah, I'm signing out. Keep it real.